Okay, what's up, Dave? Hey, Donnie, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. I haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit. <laughs> just a so, day. Or so. Just a day or so. So uh, I'm done this Husky 50. Uh, everything except for a bar and chain, which I'm I'm waiting on. Um, mm -hmm. I put the new Nicosil piston and cylinder kit in it. It seems to be running great. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done much running of it because I heard. I don't know where I picked this up a couple years ago. You're not supposed to run a chainsaw or rev out a chainsaw unless you have the bar and chain on it. Something to do with issues in the clutch. But I'm hoping that um, I get a chance here to show you starting it and running it. But I'm not going to rev it out too much. But maybe you can explain to me after um, why that's not a great idea. Okay, I will. So first of all, you sounded pretty excited in your message about that yeah. you kid in and you wanted me to hear it. Yeah. I'm glad that you didn't rev it up without calling me first and leaving a message. Right. Because you should never run a chainsaw full blast without the bar and chain on. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, you're probably wondering why, because what's going to happen. Okay. Let me, um, let me show you it running, and then maybe if you if you have a uh, a saw there that you can show me exactly what uh, what I'm what I'm worried about. Okay, so you're going to start it now. Yeah. Do not rev it up. Okay, just got it. it. It might rev a little bit when you start it up, but just let it idle. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and that's the new kit you put in that you bought yeah. off Amazon. That's right. And uh, yeah, just start it up and show me. Okay, sounds good. Okay, Dave, it runs super good. I'm glad you didn't rev it up. The reason you don't want to rev it up, and you'll see this in the clip right now that I've kind of made in the shop here for you to look at. So here's a steel MS261, Dave, that I have in the shop. I just want to show you and everybody watching today. Now to take the clutch off, you have to turn it clockwise to get it off. When you put it back on, you turn it on counterclockwise. It will tighten itself up when the saw is running but you have to have some resistance so that the clutch tightens itself up properly on the shaft. And even if you had never taken the clutch off and you rev the chainsaw up without a bar and chain, it can still work its way out and come right off the chainsaw. And if it loosens itself from the crankshaft and comes off the saw, you can end up damaging the clutch and lose all these little springs here. That's why it's super critical if you want to rev up your chainsaw, for example, to adjust the carburetor, that you have the bar and chain on. I know you guys have seen me run a chainsaw without a bar and chain to see if the chainsaw was oiling. That's different because I was not revving it up. The major problem here comes when you start revving a chainsaw full blast without the bar and chain. So what do you think about that explanation, Dave? Does that make sense to you? It makes total sense to me. Yeah. Again, like I mentioned in the video clip you just saw, it's a left-handed thread on the clutch. So basically it's reverse threaded, if that makes it easier for some people to understand. Usually when you tighten something in, you turn clockwise, but on the chainsaw clutch, you turn the opposite way. And the reason for that is, so when it's running and it's got the bar and chain on, the clutch will tighten itself up. So you might ask, well, the clutch is threading on left handed. So in reverse, you would think that even if there's no bar and chain, that it would tighten itself up. But it doesn't always do that. Now, if you've worked on your chainsaw, you've taken off the clutch, you've put it back on and you go to start it without the bar and chain, it's even more prone to coming off the, the saw and flying into pieces because you've already had it off. Right. You might get away with it if the clutch has been on your chainsaw for five, 10 years and has never been taken off, but it's not worth the risk. And I don't mind telling my mistakes on YouTube here because I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes, especially you, Dave. Hmm. One time when I started out, I had a small echo chainsaw. I had just taken the clutch off to replace the, the sprocket or the sprocket drum. And I was a bit green, 
I started it up and I think I had just put in a carb kit and I thought I got to adjust the carburetor. I was revving it, revving it. Then all of a sudden that clutch flew across the shop in pieces, oh, no. in pieces, man. If somebody was, was close by, they could have got hit in the face and the head anywhere with that clutch. The springs were off. Everything was gone. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want you guys to make that mistake. So that's the reason you don't want to rev up a chainsaw without any resistance on the clutch. Again, like I've mentioned, that resistance from the chain will help the clutch to tighten itself even further on the crankshaft. And as soon as you cut into wood, the resistance is even greater. Right. It's tighten up right away. Now, you can probably get away like you just did in the video there. You started it. You just let it idle. That's probably not dangerous, but you have to be careful as well. Okay. Okay. Always wear like safety glasses if uh, if you're not sure or keep the, the cover on the clutch. Sounds good to me. Okay. So when I had made that mistake when I was younger, I even had the clutch cover off. Like mm -hmm. the side cover. Yeah. I had that cover off. It just flew right off. So you're lucky. I, I am lucky. Uh, it was a lesson learned. I've never done it since. Okay. At least if you have the cover and something did happen, it, it probably would just contain itself in the cover. Right. But sometimes you can cause damage to other parts as well, like the oiler, oiler worm gear, and maybe the, the brake band. But number one, number one is safety to yourself. That that's what you always want to be thinking about. Okay. Okay, makes yep. sense. Yes, I need to. Yes, I need to go buy a bar and chain. Absolutely. Yeah, don't rev it up. Don't rev it up. They break it in properly with a bar and chain. Uh, you don't want any more problems with yourself or good. To, to get injured. Hopefully that answered uh, your question, Dave. Anybody watching? If you still have questions as to why you shouldn't rev up a chainsaw without the bar and chain, just comment below the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for having me, Don.